Hello and welcome back to our next Future Stars video and today it's Tottenham Hotspur. Again what we've done is we've got all the players in the under 23s, shortlisted them all, fast forwarded 15 years to see who's had the best careers. Let's have a look at the top three players in the Tottenham under 23s. So in at three is Pape Matar. So now this guy's got a sparkling career but he's done very well especially at international level as well. He's racked up 398 career appearances recouping a total of £30 million worth of transfer fees during his career. He's a good central midfielder. He's six foot one. He's got some good physical attributes, some decent mental attributes. He's not the best technically, but he's not a bad player all in all. What we can see is he's made 94 caps for his country, scoring six goals. His career has been a varied one. He started at Tottenham. He's had a couple of loan spells at Wigan before going to Almira on a, on a free. Spent a few years in Spain, done rather well, especially in his final couple of seasons. An average rating of 7.23 and 7.15. That earned him a move to Everton for 11.75 million. Spent two years at Everton before going to Burnley. Fair to say, he didn't really cut it in the English Premier Division. His average ratings dropped massively and significantly as well. And also, his appearance has dropped. He didn't really have the best career in England, but a very good midfielder in Spain. If you're in the Spanish leagues, definitely want to have a look at. But it's his international honours, or his international honour, that has got him into the number three spot. Troy Parrott were very close, but he won absolutely nothing and scored, uh, scored a goal one every three games. But Matasar did win one major honour, and that was the African Cup of Nations with Senegal in 2029. Won a major international honour, that's got him in at number three, so Pape Matas are very difficult to say, gets in at number three, decent player. Now Harvey White is in at number two. Now Harvey White was the most transferred player and recouped the most transfer fees at £52 million worth of fees over his career. He's made 462 all-time appearances for club, never made an international cap. Again, a central midfielder, this time a smaller in stature, not as good physical attribute, attributes, but a better technical player. He's not had a bad career all in all, if we look at the history once again. Started at Tottenham, had a loan at Burton, then went to Middlesbrough for 1.3 million in the Championship, spent a few years there. Did okay, but then got his big break when he went to Fulham, 5.25 million, went to the Premiership, had an okay season, which earned him a move to Reading for 23.5 million. Played one season at Reading and then went to Everton for 20 million, spent a few seasons at Everton and has ended up at Burnley. He's not, again, not set the world alight in that centre of midfield in the Premiership. Maybe his stature and his physical attributes do let him down somewhat. But he's not had a bad career, you would say. He's had a decent-ish career. But if we have a look at the milestones, there is just one major honour, and that is a Carabao Cup with Everton in 2031. So Harvey White, again, not the most sparkling, but a decent, decent Premier League mid-table sort of midfielder. You've got one there in Harvey White. And your number one today is Dane Scarlett. Now, this man really is a future star. Look at his physical attributes. Good agility, good balance. He's got great mental attributes, composure and off the ball. And boy, can this man finish. He scores a lot, a lot of goals. Never made an England appearance, unfortunately for him. Did okay in the under-21s. I mean, very well in the under-21s. 14 caps, 14 goals. But he's won some good major honours. But let's have a look at his career stats first and foremost. If we have a look, there's only been one transfer. He went from Tottenham. He spent a decent amount of time at Tottenham. He went on to Bournemouth, tried to break into the first team, never really cut it. Then had to drop into the Championship with Leeds United. He went for 23 million, which is a big signing for Leeds United, especially in the Championship. Scored 16 goals in 33, but as he got up to Premier League level, he adapted to Premier League level. And as he's gone through his career, he's just got better and better. His latest season with Leeds, scoring 23 goals in 35 appearances, on par with his best scoring one, possibly you'd say, 25 in uh, in 34 in 2033 but what a career this man's had he's a goal scorer but he has won some milestones now this Tottenham fans will be very excited by this because in 2027 with Tottenham they were English Premier Division champions they were FA Cup winners and they won a Community Shield call it a double call it a treble whatever you like to do but he won some major trophies with Tottenham he's won obviously the champion he's, well, he's got promoted from the championship He's a very, very good player. You'd want Dane Scarlett in your team. So if he, you've got a team and he's anywhere in that championship level, get him in as quick as you can. He will develop into a superstar. And yeah, Dane Scarlett is your number one future star from Tottenham Hotspur. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next up is Leicester, and we'll see you on that one. See you later.